We are both wearing red. And dark hats. That's right. Look at that. I got my snazzy Reddington hat on. You do. So, Victoria, yes. shall we? We shall. So, welcome. welcome to another exciting episode of Feel It Real Fun. Yeah, that's what we say. Your manifesting questions answered live. That's what they are. You may have noticed that we actually didn't do a live show yesterday. We just did a live watch party. <laughs> yes, because... The power went off. <laughs> oh, it was a planned power outage. It was a planned power outage. Uh, so we did a, a planned watch party. <laughs> That's right. And it was lovely. Yeah, it apparently was like you had everyone a cool, here. Everyone cool showed up. Mm. So go to freenevel.com. Yes. Join the 221 mm. email list and Look get a pseudo random email people. every single day tell until us, tell, you die. Tell us, where do you know us from? Triple D, MM, I'm seeing all these cool kids I here. know you all from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. True. Mm. Yes. Join our 90 day adventure at Manifesting Mastery Course.com. That's right. Oh my God. I mean, like, oh, baby. <laughs> I just saw Joe Weldon here and it's <laughs> and I remembered how I said this morning to quote Joe Weldon. This ought to be good. Tarp that load. <laughs> <laughs> we telling it to a friend. That's right. You met him. Coob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Manifesting Mastery Course.com. Cheap right. ass cup of coffee, half a donut a day. What's it costing you not to do it? Absolutely. Seriously. Think about it. I do a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we were just thinking about that. We were. Yes. <laughs> and for refunds, visit you, oh, our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. Look at that. Uma is obedient. She is. <laughs> She's the only obedient one here. <laughs> right. So, how She's is it a big amazing. show? Or is it, Look at that DDD. Have we stripped Triple it D. down a bit? Oh, my God. A few emails, a few questions. So, guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Feel It Real Fun. My name is Mr. 2020. Did we just do this? <laughs> Some days are just like that. Have you noticed that? Or is it lifetimes? All days anyway. are like that for me with Whoa, 20. Look at this. Now, I'm a professional variable. Remember, professional variables, well, variables are what determine what the constants are worth. Oh, God, that's just... <laughs> It's true. That's for Jake and Tommy. That's too much head. Jake, <laughs> like... Jake and Tommy. <laughs> okay. Shall we? We shall start. <clears throat> so the first question is from Michelle, uh, Melissa Sorry, in Manifesting Mastery. Yo, Melissa. How to manifest hair. <laughs> Ask 20. Oh, yeah, look, look at, at his that. head at now. He used to be bald. I am the silver fox. <laughs> yeah. Meets Fuzzy Bear. Melissa asks, Hi 20, do you have any articles on how people manifest hair? Yes. I noticed that I have assumptions about men's hair thinning in the future. Wow, amazing that I just said that about you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to change my assumption that hair stays thick forever. Thank you. All right. So. Well, I noticed one thing you said that about men, but... I think Melissa's normally a girl. I think so. I, <laughs> yes. I, 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 the, so the, the, iron, the, the irony of this one, like, <laughs> cool, right? Mm. Ready? So I'm going to take a 90 degree angle on this one. Are you ready? Yes. I am too sexy, right? So, so what if, right? What if? Okay, I wouldn't, yeah, see, here's the fun thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want noodles for lunch, stop imagining noodles for lunch. <laughs> I know someone you got to sue. You got to CC on this. What tag on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. So, yeah. so, so you imagine up what you choose, what you desire, hmm. and the whole thing is, I mean, like there are going to be some men that assume that they will get bald. You hmm. know, uh, politicians will philander and all that other good stuff, and they will. Right. Oh, hang on, I just <laughs> got it. I know what we're having for lunch. <laughs> Do you? Noodles. <laughs> Is no. that what you were doing? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, you guys. I just. I actually <laughs> yeah. thought about noodles, but I'm not in the mood to go dick around in, in, yeah, in the shops. Dick around. Right. Yeah, okay. Got you. But I got something better in mind. Cool. Yeah. See, if you don't want noodles, stop imagining noodles. I mean, like, mm. here's the thing: you can always imagine lovingly for another. Like, I can imagine, like Jake as in super hairy. I mean, like, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I know some chicks really love super hairy guys, <laughs> and I can just imagine Jake like hairy like a buffalo. You know what I mean? Like dark mockery. Jake could play, yeah, if he's really hairy, like the lion in... Um, yeah, Mustafa. I know. No, 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 uh, it, no, uh, in Follow the, the Yellow Brick Road. Oh, that. That lion. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He could play he that. He could play that one too. Because he's right? an actor as well. So, uh, so I can imagine Jake, like, hairy like a buffalo. Victoria can imagine him hairy like a lion. And he can <laughs> accept or reject both. Mm. Right? Or, right, if he wants to do the Kojak thing, like 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here's the cool thing. Like some people assume like all women is gold diggers. I just assume some of them are. Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> but more on that later. But here's the big deal. Ready? More on that later. I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, like with anything, it's, it's all the same. Right? Yeah. How are you using the tools? Are, are you like, I see. Yeah, I have a stepson that went bald at like twenty three or something. Right? It's like, oh damn, really? Right? Bald. Yeah, bald. Right? Like, like thin in here. Right? It's like, wow. Right? So, like, I mean, like, yeah, I could always revise that. Or like, I look up my grandpa. He was like, uh, he was like uh, a weeble. Yeah. Weeble. Hashtag weeble, but he had uh, hair like Gandalf. Right? <laughs> Your dad does too. My dad does too. So I get it from both sides, right? <laughs> so so here's the fun thing. I just play with the tools. Go to Neville Goddard's toolbox, right? And just play with the tools, right? For you know, however you wanted to do it. If there's somebody you want to revise, oh yeah, little belly getting bald at 23, right? We could do that. <laughs> or we could imagine. Whose voice was that? <laughs> oh, it's the lollipop guild. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was yeah. a fascinating. The munchkins. We found out, didn't we? They were all drunk, apparently. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cause yeah in the Wizard of Oz. Was talking about yeah, the Wizard little, of Oz. Yeah, a little horny drunk. Jake being the lion. Yeah, but, we can yeah. always imagine Jake as a, <laughs> in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> See, the thing is, we're always filling in blanks. Right? Yeah. Fill them in lovingly. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of hair. Yeah. Hoo-ha. All right. Cool. So... Oh, and look at that. Sizzle's talking about Yasmin's hairy legs. <laughs> this is the best show he has ever. has a reputation. Reputation. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Excellent. Oh, my God. Lene just shaved her legs. I just, <laughs> look at this side show. It's amazing. <laughs> That's the only thing they show up for. It's not for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The they didn't even show. know we're here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could probably turn off the mic. They wouldn't even know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the lollipop killed. The okay. lollipop killed. All right, well, let's continue. All right. Yeah, just play with the tools. All right, that's the big thing. And there are some hair success stories at freenevel.com. Hair yeah, success stories. Yes. Or as Yasmin Maxwell would say, wax on, wax off. No, oh, I love that. Yes. Uh, the Karate Kid. Yes, Mr. Miyagi. We should watch that again, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I loved yeah. that when I was younger. Yeah, the original. The original. Yes. Yeah, not I'm not any... into the New Age remakes. You know what no. I mean? Like, no. Not at all. Okay, excellent. So, thank you very much Everybody for your question, Melissa. Ah. Uh, no, oh, yeah, we got to do this. Ready? Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. And we go, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> was Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah, I love me some Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino and yeah, the Karate Kid. we watched it the other day, Ooh, Joe. Ah. That one about the salesman Ooh, ah. with uh, Kevin Spackey yeah, and Al, Al Pacino. Pacino. <laughs> Ooh, ah. I'll say it right. Al, Kevin Spacey and Al Pacino Ooh, ah. in, what was the show called? <laughs> Did he recommend? Uh, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. Yes, Ooh, that's ah. right. Everybody was... All right, we better get right. back to it. We'll be here all show. day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I told Paul I'd be at the Cube today. <laughs> right. The next question is from O via email. Special person manifesting. O asks, Hello, I've been persisting in my, so, in my special person returning. We were together for five years. We've been apart for two years now. And I've been visualizing him happy, coming home, etc., as your video explained. My fear was of another person he had in his life, and it came true. Yesterday, I found out he got engaged. How do I persist? Uh, okay. He loved me a lot and used to look at me the way he looks at her now. Some manifesting coaches say to keep persisting. Non-manifestors say, time to move on. I do love him and miss my best friend and have learned a lot since the breakup. Thank you. Cool, y'all. Ready? Yeah. Let it all be about you all. Right? Mm. Happy, loving husband, right? Uh, naturally wants to her happy, right? So here's the cool thing, right? So as long as you make it about him and you know, you've learned things since he's been gone and you've feared the other person, mm. you know, the only person that can take happy, loving husband away from me is me. 
Mm. The only one that can take happy loving wife or happy loving gardener, happy loving Yogini girl, which is redundant. We talked about that the other day. <laughs> redundant? <laughs> yes. Yogini girl. Yogini girl's redundant? Redundant. How is she redundant? Well, not in the Australian way, but in the American way. Because if we say Yogini girl redundant, Yogini is a female and girl is redundant. If we say Yogini girl, it's like oh, okay. working for the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> right? All right. All right. <laughs> I thought you meant me as being a Yogini who was redundant. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Yogini okay. girl. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. Yeah. It's, it's like saying we're going to do things you know, quickly, quickly. <laughs> yeah, quickly, we'll do things quickly. Okay. Right? Good. <laughs> All right. So what was the question? The question oh, yeah, 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 is about yeah. the special case. Yeah, let, let it always be about you. Right? If you want to be a happy, loving wife, you, you, you let it be about a happy, loving wife. If somebody particular comes into mind that you're like engaged to or something, cool, imagine them happy. Uh, but here's the other thing. Uh -huh. uh, let's say you love this guy. Just uh -huh. imagine him happy. You don't imagine him happy coming through the door. You know, that's just making it manipulative. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I just imagine her happy. Like, do I like it when she comes through the door? Yeah. Do I like it when she comes through the door and, like, her clothing matches the floor? I love that. But it's like, I, I just imagine her happy, and I live in a happy state, and every now and then two worlds collide. Yeah. But more on that later. Stick around. Mm. Yeah, really, just let it be about you. Mm. Just let it be about you. Just let it be about you. T, T has a point V, worry not. That should have been said in Yoda voice. I beg your pardon? <laughs> TT is a voice. Or TT is a point. Worry not. <laughs> yeah, redundant, by the way, when I moved here. I, yeah, so I, there's different words that mean different things in different parts of the world. This is why we say words don't have power, but they have <coughs> different power elsewhere, I guess. But when I came here and her brother kept saying, Mr. 20, uh, we're going to go like on the holiday. You know, do you have thong? Yeah, I said, do I have thongs? 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 So I thought, what the fuck are you asking me about like what I wear around the pool? You know, Clinton, like you eyeballing me or something? Boy, oh, this ain't right. right? Yeah, thongs. Right? Yeah, you know, you have thongs. We'll be swimming. You want thongs. Right? You want to wear them in the shower. So shower with you, thongs. Right? It means something very different that, here than it does in the U.S. It of does. A. And, and in you, the uh, U.K., they call them flip-flops. Yep. Here we call them thongs. Yeah, sandals. You know, right, you know, in the U.S. Yeah, or right? something like that. Yeah, and, 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 and like here, when you say someone's redundant, <laughs> or if you say something is redundant, <laughs> like like if I say Yogini girl, right? You get oh, it? No. It's like yoga girl girl. Right, the second girl's you. redundant. Right, yeah, I, yeah. I know you got me, but I just think it's funny because it's like the word redundant. What? <laughs> As in, oh, yeah. like useless. <laughs> you're fired. You're useless. Yeah. Oh yeah. Aren't oh, you worried about being made redundant? Twenty. I, like, I don't make myself redundant. I play with my thongs? thong all day. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right. This is that's cool. What a, okay, what a and show. I totally agree with what Flip Twenty flops. said. That's it. Well, Jordan. Just letting you know, oh, I totally agree with what 20 said. I went through exactly what you went through about oh, <laughs> we all 20 have. years ago. Oh, yeah. uh, but, yeah, Don't make, make it, it all about you. Let it be all about you. Mm. All right. Say, by the way, if we were making the show all about you, I'd really try to over-explain and over-push. and Like, I'd really make persist. sure persist. I know. But if I let the show be yeah. all about me... I'm having fun, and I'm imagining somebody learns something because somebody sends me an email or something. Like Tony Doyle says, hey, Tony, I learned something cool. I'll be getting back to you. Right? Our, our, Tony Doyle and I are having a conversation that didn't happen really slowly right now. It's more like <laughs> two guys just sipping whiskey going, yep, a lot this past week or two. <laughs> Falling asleep at the bonfire. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's one other thing I noticed, actually, because it's a word you've picked up on I, about this persist. And Neville did use the word persist, but... No, but persist in it, making it about you. Yeah. Don't persist in it's got to be them, 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 them. So, yeah. Yeah. It's like we're not having noodles today, just to be blunt, right? Okay. But if she was imagining that we're having noodles and she has to have that noodle. Mm, curry right? laksa. Yeah. No, no, that oh, noodle, okay. that specific noodle. And she's like staring at it and somebody else comes along and not that they one. put that in their dish. I mean, then, you know, you know Yogini, Yogini girl, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yogini girl, girl. <laughs> It just gets bad. Okay. All right. Jake, you keep coming. You keep leaving and coming back and leaving he's, and coming he's back. checking his hair. All right. Just, I'll <laughs> let you know, Jake. We've got about, I don't know. It'll, it's going to be a while. Four or five right. questions before you <laughs> all. <so. right. laughs> okay. All right. So that was from O. Oh, thank you very much for your question. And stay o. tuned. We'll be diving into this more on it later. Okay. That's right. 
the next question is from Ryan in Manifesting Mastery. Neville Goddard's Isn't It Wonderful? Ryan asks, hey, give me some tips for boredom. I've given up watching TV and movies and also watching porn. Does repeating Isn't It Wonderful for every minute of the day help? Cool. So if you want more boredom... <laughs> more boredom... <laughs> Uh, no, I shouldn't talk about my mother-in-law. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, for her, it's dramatic. For me, it's like, are you serious again? <laughs> it's predictable, yep. right? So, so here's the thing, ready? Yeah. I, isn't it wonderful? My guess is you've read about that elsewhere because when Neville teaches that in the lullaby thing, that comes way after assuming the feeling of the state of your wish fulfilled and so on and so forth. So go to freeneville.com, type the word lullaby in the mm. search box and you'll find out about how Neville actually taught that. Mm. On the other hand, uh, I have not been bored in decades, mm. except every once in a while. It's like, uh, you shut up, quit talking, Victoria, hang up the phone on them. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't get bored. Right? I, I seriously, I cannot remember the last time I've been bored. And the key is, so what I like in here, you've given up some things. What has he given up? Well, he's given up TV, watching movies and porn. Well, so the things that are all flat, you've given up. Fascinating. Flat. Yes. Yeah, TV, movies, porn. They're on a screen. They're oh, flat. I see. Okay. So, so so get out and get dirty. Imagine something that gets you off the couch and out into doing something. Because yeah. here's the thing. the you, you, if, you, When the focus is on what can I give up, you know, okay, I've given up movies, given up porn, given up, but, you know, you know that's one mm. thing. Another direction is really just going, right, so we've given up noodles for lunch. You know, we're going to have something different, right? But if it was just the focus on noodles and lack of noodles and I've given up noodles, yeah, you know, that's not fun. But when you find out what lunch it really is, she doesn't know. I it's, don't. It's going to be so good. <laughs> oh, cool! Right? Excellent. So just, just so you've given up noodles, move on. Yeah, what's for lunch? Right? You know, boom, boom. But you know, imagine up some fun adventures. Mm. And uh, Dream Driven Day is good for that. We because we talk about yeah. the difference between a lot of people they get into this because they want to have more. Uh, and to me, that's living in a swamp. Mm. And I want you to make waves, and that's what Dream Driven Day is all about. Yeah. But ramen. Joe Walton says. Ryan. Excellent. So. Ramen. Yeah. Ryan. Thank you very much. Cool. Stay for tuned. Your question. Oh, that one wasn't highlighted. Anyway. What's the title? Page via email. Uh, yeah, we'll make up a title. You could make one up now. Uh, I'd have to read it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> cool. The next question's from Paige via email. Paige asks, hi, so I've been wondering this for a while. When feeling is talked about, does it mean imaginally feeling whatever it is you desire, like with your senses, or is it the feeling that you know that you have it? Cool. So we did a show a couple of days ago on I Am That. Mm. So, so whenever I experience what it's like to be a BMW owner, I have an experience, right? So I've got Emmett in the back seat, Tickle Belly Hill, that kind of thing. That's what I feel. I don't see the car. I don't see my body. I'm actually like seeing like Tickle Belly Hill flying at me pretty fast. <laughs> and, and in the mirror, I see Emmett in the back seat because <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So there are imag imaginal sensations. There are emotions evolved, all that stuff. Some people say this has nothing to do with emotions. Well, have a nice fucking life with that. Mm. But see, you know, being a BMW owner, you know, I have emotional experiences. I have sensational experiences. But the thing is, I know I'm a BMW owner, right? Mm. I am that. I didn't manifest a car. I, 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 I embodied ownership. And then the car comes along for the ride. Never said it that way. Mm. I am so <laughs> clever. Along for the ride. Got it. Mm. <laughs> oh. Right. Cool. So that's the knowing. If, if I was going to distill it in any other direction, it would be ownership. And we've talked about that in some recent shows as well. Like, really, like, ownership, not of her. I, I don't own her. <laughs> Can you no. imagine trying to own her? That's going to be, a, you know, she's going to come out claws a-flying. Yeah. Right? <laughs> On the other hand, I own the state of happy-loving husband. Boom. And when I own that state, that makes her life a lot easier. But if I try to own her, mm. Mm. <laughs> her, her. Cool. But Very this will tie cool. in with some later questions as well. So we'll say more on that yeah, later. later. <laughs> <laughs> I 
love saying that. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, cool. See, because if words had power, all you people would be morons. I know I'm not included in that <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah, but you get it all the time. Yeah. I mean, people are saying things without realizing they're saying things, right? Yeah. And it's like, all right, you know, like, mm. all right, purple people eater. Anyway. Excellent. Okay, so thank you, Paige, for your question. This is good. Watch how it ties in. <laughs> the next question is from David in Manifesting Mastery. How to track progress in Manifesting Mastery? David asks, any suggestions on how to track progress? I love progress because, see, most people, I talk about this in Triple D as well. So, so most people, are they're, they're, they measure how many laps they swim in the pool, mm. right? Uh, I measure how involved is my body. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. It really is a massive difference. It's yeah. like some people measure how long we've been married. <laughs> we'll call that persisting, right? If we can persist till fifty, we'll get a prize. Like the a queen, prize. yeah, the queen will send us a, a letter. Does she? Yeah. Well, I think the, well, I, the she I, sends one when you turn a hundred. Well, I think Sleepy but... Joe sends one out. Like you can petition Sleepy Joe's office oh, to send you a letter. Oh, God. <laughs> Just imagine oh, that. Yeah, you're halfway through. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I'm on fire. You are. <laughs> All right. I once got a letter from one of the Clintons, I believe. Or was it a Bush? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. One of them sent me a letter about something. What are you <laughs> okay, uh, so dead president. It wasn't Monica. <laughs> no. The Bush. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell was the question? It was about <laughs> tracking progress. Oh, yeah. How much fun are you having? How involved are you with your day? That's the only thing I'm really concerned about. Whenever I get updates, I'm just noticing how involved are you with your day. And, and there's the big thing. Because it, we could say, oh, double income worked half the time. That's always fun, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan of that, as some of you all know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Twice as many women's in one day, right? You're like, eh, maybe, maybe not. You know, wrap that rascal, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Two time, Tommy. Like, like, this might be just totally <laughs> off... Um the topic and never or whatever. But I know for me how um, in the garden, like it's own I track, well, it's not that I deliberately go out to track progress. I see the progress I've made. I see how the garden's progressed when I look at photos you know, sure. that you've taken like 10 years ago. Yep. Um, and it's, it's a bit like I, I don't even acknowledge I don't actually really even think about it until, but when I see them, it's just like, oh my God, wow. So, but so, I don't know how you can tie that in. Sure. So another angle of approach <clears throat> is you could look at those photos and go, oh, we've accomplished a lot, but look how much more we have to do. <laughs> right. Not much progress. Cause, <laughs> That's how I would have been actually a few years ago. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. She's different. Yeah. She's more involved with her life. She's mm. more involved with enjoying the garden and participating in it. Versus looking at it like, yeah. All right, let's see if we can make fifty years. Right. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a prize. We'll get a letter from Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Dear you two assholes. <laughs> anyway, Emma, so, so, so so that's the thing. How do you measure progress? I just notice how much of a participant you are in your day. How much are you really just? And by the way, good, bad, and different. Yeah, I'd, 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 yeah, to have a genuine upset. To have a genuine celebration versus a theoretical, uh, hypothetical pot news thing about, you know, you know God, if it wasn't mm. for those two girls, I would have never survived. <laughs> Geometry, trigonometry. <laughs> I was very involved. Yeah. Very involved. So, yeah, that's it. How involved are you with your life? That's my thing. You'll notice, yeah, you know, triple D people, let me know if you agree. Yeah, you, know, you get more involved in your day. That's what mm. I want to know. So, mm. boom. Yep. Cool. Okay, excellent. <laughs> what the hell? I, I, know, I, I probably wants up on the inside inside. He's actually on the inside inside. It's like he's trying to say, I want to get down. I, what's your problem, Emmett? That dog has <laughs> issues. You can see him. <laughs> if you go up, at, see, there's him standing on the inside outside. And if you go, take it up a bit, you can just. Um, we'll just yeah. keep going. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. 
All right. Uh, dog has issues. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that was from David in Manifesting Mastery. Thanks very much for your question, David. The next question is from Dream Driven Day. Tommy, do thoughts and body <coughs> sensations manifest? <sighs> Tommy asks, do thoughts and body sensations manifest things or does your reactions to your thoughts and body sensations <laughs> manifest more of the same thoughts and sensations and leads you down a rabbit hole. Oh, see, I got the next one running into it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. Ready? Okay. Let's talk about porn. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is for, who was that guy that said something about giving up porn? Yeah. Ryan? Cool. Ryan. So, anyway. let's yes. get around. So, ready? Porn. Yes. Because I get the question. I, I've actually gotten this one half a dozen times or so. Hmm. Dear Mr. Twenty. If imaginal activity actually did something, wouldn't watching a lot of porn make sure yeah, make put a lot of good looking women in my life? No. End of line. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's sort of like watching the Sopranos. Or, or you know, watching the Sopranos does not hashtag does not make you Italian, right? <laughs> or a mobster. Right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you, you, physical sensations and thoughts and so on. Uh, here's what manifests something ownership whenever whenever you identify yourself with for example the state of Sean that we explore in triple D a lot of subtle crass commercial putting it out but mm. whenever you identify with, with yourself with Sean Sean had a state of girls enjoy me mm. and they did me yeah. I was too busy trying to go hey I want to make you mine right <laughs> <laughs> yeah I learned a lot from Sean but here's the cool thing, right? So, you know, if you watched a horror flick, right? I'm not a fan of horror flicks for some mm. reason. Mm. Uh, and that actually, it, it just doesn't do anything, right? Here's the thing. What, what are you, where are you coming from? Right? Where are you coming from? All right? If you get that, you know, you hot looking chicks dig me, they will. But if you go, right, you know, the only chicks that dig me are my fat cousins, hashtag <laughs> fat cousins, right? I mean, then life gets a little weird, right? Mm. And you probably live in West Virginia. But, yeah, here, here's, the, here's the big thing. Ownership, 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 ownership. A uh, thought that's not pro felt produces nothing, Neville says. Right, but it's that whole thing, imaginal experience leads physical experience. The thoughts follow. So... Mm. But we'll tie this in more on that later, too. But I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good, I too. thought it was excellent, right? Did you? Oh, my God, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a shoestring on this. Okay. All right. So that was for for Dream Driven Day Two Time Tommy. Two Time. Thanks for your question. Tommy. The next question is from Dream Driven Day, Jake. Yes. Jake asks, I'm exploring indifference to unwanted in brackets, but it's been war and force, and I'm sick of that, and I want it to be elegant and easy. Any suggestions? Cool. I'm really indifferent to a lot of things. Ready? Hashtag Republicans, hashtag Democrats, hashtag Green Party, hashtag... Morons. What are the other ones we have? What are the ones we have here? Labor, labor, liberals, labor, yeah. liberals. We've got so many political parties here, and I'm pretty much indifferent to them all, mm. right? I'm indifferent to lots of things, like uh, the score of the hypotenuse is a right triangle. It really doesn't do much for me anymore, right? I can remember it, but it, but it's like, it, why am I indifferent to that? I'm too busy interested in uh, digital marketing. I'm too busy interested in technology. I'm too interested, too interested in, in playing in the pool and I'm too interested in surprising her for lunch. Indifference means I really don't give a shit about whether or not I can buy pig ass today in Box no. Hill because I'm not going there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just double checking. Just double checking. Yes. So, so indifference, it just drops off your radar. Hmm. Sleepy Joe. Joe Weldon, the difference between ignorance and indifference. I bet that was a joke, but it scrolled through and I can't see it. Bugger. Cool. 
Oh. All right. So that's my thing. Indifference isn't going to war against something. It's to the point where, like, I can quite honestly say when someone says to me, what do you think about this or that or something? And I honestly tell them, I don't care. Mm. I, I'm too busy living. Mm. Right? So, mm. boom. Dark Mockery. He played drums for Metallica too. See, ah. see these little snips? I just love these. All right. Cool. Excellent. So that was from Drum Driven Die Jack. Yep, Thank you very totally. much for your question. Boom. By the way, here, here's a real practical one. Ready? Uh, we obviously have an online business. Not everybody fucking loves me. Right? Some people actually leave negative comments in places. Mm. To be honest, don't care. I'm not in a popularity contest. If I had to try to convince everyone to love me, fuck, it would be a lot of work. Mm. On the other hand, if I'm sincerely me, mm. yeah, cool. Will there be misunderstandings? Of course. Will there be disagreements? Of course. But at the end of the thing, Jake says, going to listen to the engage calls. Those engage calls are awesome, aren't they? Mm. So at the, at the end of the whole day, the whole thing for me is like, right, I mean, like, you know, someone's talking shit. I really don't care. Right? What am I into? I'm too into getting the good stuff out. Too, too much. Is Joe leaving? Joe has to jump on another call with those fucking people. <laughs> Bye, Joe. See ya. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> cool. Okay. Excellent. All right. So, yeah. Thank you very much for your question, Jake. Coolio. Boom. <laughs> the next question's from Two Time Tommy. Two Time. Manifesting money. <gasps> Tommy. <laughs> so Tommy <laughs> asks Demolishing money concepts like financial freedom and financial security, how do I pinpoint what would be different in my day if more money was in my day? How do I find the right details in my day? to make that shift in my imagination. There'll be something that, in everybody's life as far as I can tell, there's gonna be that thing where it's like, uh, I'll tell you when I was younger, and I'd, I had my little Honda CB360, right? It was a cool <laughs> little mo motorbike. I got it for 400 bucks. And here's the thing, for all the youngsters listening in today, if you want your parents to buy you a car, Buy yourself a motorbike. <laughs> or tell them you're going to buy a boat motorbike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Save some money and either buy a motorbike or or, or tell them that you're, you've got one and make sure you show them a photo of something that looks really dangerous, Scary. right? <laughs> yeah. And so I had my motorbike and I was poor. Like, I mean it. I grew up on the cheese line, kids. And so, like, I'd be going to work for a security unlimited. Uh, da -da 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 -da, right? <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> <laughs> and someone said yesterday that it sounded like the Benny Hill theme song. <laughs> I love the Benny Hill theme song. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. So I, I'd pull up to the gas pumps and I'd put my two dollar. I'd go in and give Bob my two dollars in loose change, and I'd come out and I'd put the two dollars in, in my thing. Then I'd go to every other gas pump and I'd drain that fucker. Right, because yeah, if there was anything, the I lift the hose just up to sure. just to get another three cents worth of uh, of liquid go go. Yeah. Right. Because I got like 70 miles to the gallon on that little thing. Mm. But I really needed to get every 70 miles to the gallon, right? But now, right, you know, a couple years later. So I'm going <laughs> to the dog park and the orange light comes on. I pull over. I go in. Well, before I go in, I, I pump it full of premium, mm. right? I don't know what it costs. I mm. don't care, right? So there's going to be something in your day now that's going to be different then that you'll experience differently. Yeah. And it could be like, I can only afford like half a teaspoon of butter in my coffee versus I'll put half a block in. I'm, <laughs> I'm just in that mood. I want super butter coffee this morning, right? So three bucks worth of butter, don't care, right? <laughs> my coffee, my way. And there'll be something. Mm -hmm. There'll be something, there'll be something. And there's the thing. You find that something that you know will be different, and it mm -hmm. could be something that frustrates you, could be something that excites you. You might watch twice as much paid porn. You might go from free porn to paid. Oh my God, imagine <laughs> that. Go from the ramen noodles to the good ones, right? Yeah. So there'll be something. Mm. So, uh, yeah, cool. That's, okay. what, that's what I got. Excellent. Dooby dooby dooby. All right. Doobie. So that's for two time, Tommy. Two time. Thank you very much for your question, Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> you might, you might watch your porn on a screen that's twice as big. Think about that. <laughs> Does he watch porn? I don't. I don't know. Play what's that bubble game? 
<laughs> oh, Game with bubbles. Don't want to know. <laughs> no, I... Jake says two screens. Yeah, two screens. Yeah. You tell me. Right <laughs> I got different porn on each screen. I get so confused. <laughs> it's just, whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next. Excellent. The next question is from Shinta in Manif. Oh, and now I think this is Shanita. Shanita, yes. And you've just got, you've spelled it wrong, that's all. You sure? Yeah, there's yeah, an I in between. Be, it must be an what... autocorrect because I made sure I put it in there right. All right. All and right. I reckon that's what threw me off like about two months ago when I was going Shinta. <laughs> and anyway. Right. Sorry. Shanita. The next question is from Shanita in Manifesting Mastery. The feeling of God. Shanita asks, can you explain the feeling of God having the adventure of a lifetime as I'm on Manifesting Mastery 85, giving your life meaning? Oh, yeah. SW was cool. Mm, that anyway. Don't know. All right. Cool. Yes. yes. So, so I'm going to, again, you know, subtly do a crass commercial for Dream Driven Day because the doors aren't open yet, but they will be next month, actually in April. Yes. So, uh, so here's what I can tell. From what I can tell, what you are is God having the adventure of a lifetime. Neville talked about awareness of being as God. Consciousness is the only reality. Yeah. What I notice is when it gets really fun, I love you. Oh, <laughs> Is when it's about your day. <laughs> what are you doing? What is? What are you doing? Is is when you let it be about your day. When you really start to notice, you know, I'm giving life to my day. I'm giving life to my day. I'm giving life to my day. Specific events of my day already haven't gone my way. Uh, that to me is that endless curiosity, that endless uh, anticipation. I'm looking at ordering a roto light. <laughs> a roto light. Yeah. What's wait, that? Wait till you see it. <laughs> right? But 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 it's like you never know what's coming in the mail every day. You know what oh, I mean? No, I don't. Because <laughs> you give life to so many yummy bits. Uh, and that to me is the thing. Because if you're exploring who you are and how this works, uh, boom. Mm. So that's where I'll say to play. Okay, cool. Excellent. So that's from Shanita. Thank you very much for your question, that's right. Shanita. Boom. The next question questions from Adrian on Facebook. Patience and emotional pain. I have no patience for emotional pain. Adrian asks, how do you stay patient when you want to manifest something good while your circumstances are unwanted and cause you emotional pain? Sounds like you're in the good bad loop. I'm not a fan of good, bad, positive, negative, right, wrong. Yeah, because all the time people go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm right, and I was wronged by someone, or it's positive, negative, good, bad. Yeah, that these really weird ass things just they they tend to get you, you stuck in your head, and then stuck in you know, the struggle of the heart. Yeah. Versus, right you know, here's what I notice: consciousness is the only reality. Write this down. Uh, awareness of being is God. God. Yeah. What you're aware of being. What you, you know, your imaginal experience leads your physical experience. So whatever is in your physical life, that's just an echo of where you've been. Yeah. So if you go, oh, I'm imagining good, but I keep experiencing bad. Oh, like, I, I know I'm doing this right, but everyone's treating me wrong. Any of these, you know, seeming opposites, they just are going to drive you nuts. Mm. Versus really getting, right, what am I imagining now? Because I can pretty much guarantee, and I've had a couple emails this week about it, why is it taking so long? Well, what do you imagine tomorrow is going to be like? What do you mean? <laughs> are you imagining tomorrow is going to be the same as today? Of course you are. That's why you feel frustrated. On the other hand, if you were actually getting that, you don't know what tomorrow brings. Yeah, you know what? I know what I've given life to. I don't know which wish arise first. You got it? Hmm. So it's like, yeah, and we're not having noodles today. Right? We aren't, seriously. <laughs> but it's <laughs> like, but, 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 but you don't have to pick which noodle you eat first, right? You, you, it's not like, oh, I'm, you, it's, you, you, you give life to so much. And I bet you only have one wish. Oh, I'm imagining the one thing and it's not right. happening. Or I'm really good at all this stuff except for the one thing that's not happening. Mm. Because you're imagining it ain't happening tomorrow. Or it's going to be a while. Or it's going to be so slow. Which will tie into our next question shortly. Okay. All right. Cool. So Stay that, tuned, Adrian. Yeah. On thank Facebook. you, Adrian. Few question. Twenty. Yo. 
you're going to get it right at the end. I'm going to get it right at the end. Yeah. That's right. See, I've not been wronged here at all, no. just to be clear. And the last question this, today. This, this is how she is. This is how women's is. You know? oh, men's is women's. right. Women's bad. <laughs> men's good. Okay. Opposites. The last question is from a Dream Driven Day. Sizzle. Yo. The mood of speed. I'm in the mood and for speed. Sizzle asks, what can I do to catch the mood of speed? Since I was imagining things slow. Thank you, Victoria and 20. Cool. So, anytime I hear about speeding up and slowing down, mm. I notice that there's not acknowledging that there's a natural speed. When something feels natural, what does Neville say? The, the reason that it's not is because it doesn't feel natural to you. To the degree that you feel it natural determines how fast it happens, right? And here's what's fun. When you don't give a shit about speed, you notice everything lines up just right. That's the cool thing. You know, it's just, mm. just absolutely marvelous. So mm. it's like if I get impatient, like, well, it's noon. <laughs> Are we going to eat? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who says the perfect time to eat is noon? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can scrap everything. Eat at noon. Right? Yeah, right. And it's going to be a grumpy day. Mm. Versus, right, we generally eat about a general time. And if it's generally a few minutes early, a few minutes late, that's fine. Mm. Right? But the minute I go, she's going to be forever. <laughs> We all know how women are. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, somebody <laughs> tag Joe Weldon so he comes back. You know why they called the Minute Men? You know why they what? Called the Minute Men? Yeah, you know, back oh. in the Revolution of America. Why they called them the Minute, Minute Men? Yep. Never like, heard of it. The Minute yeah, Men. Yeah, the Minute Men. So. Right, they were the ones that led the resistance, the charge. Oh, right? I don't know. About they had to be done in. A, they had to be ready in a minute. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, there weren't minute women. Oh, <laughs> so, let me call someone first. Does this outfit make me look fat? <laughs> you get the joke, right? <sighs> right. As soon as you make it about speed, speed's your enemy. As soon as you let it be about you and naturalness, mm. yeah, too fast, too slow doesn't happen. Mm. Yeah, by the way, what I love for my cigars to be here, they've been sitting in Melbourne for eleven days. Right, I'm waiting for the ho for the ransom letter, right? Would I rather them be in my box rather than theirs? Sure, because then I'd fondle them. Oh, <laughs> look at my new cigars, right? <laughs> I just love them. Yeah, you know those little bands that they put around cigars? See, in Australia, we're not allowed to have them. They actually cover them with something or they cut them off and replace it with something dumb. You know what I call that little band? Mm. Cigar lingerie. I open it up. Oh, <laughs> they're very that. colorful and beautiful, oh, they're aren't beautiful they? beautiful, yeah. and you can touch them yeah. while they're more texturized. Oh. Yeah, they are. So I'd rather them be in my box than theirs. But mm. to the degree I feel it natural, I've got a cigar box full of cigars, right? I can put another 15 or 20 in. Why not? That means I have to smoke more. Mm. <sighs> but I'm not impatient about it. Mm. So I think that ties it all up pretty good, Victoria. Ice. Boom. So that was for Dream Dream of the Day, Scott. Sizzle, yo. Thank you very much for your question. All right. And thank you, 20, for all the answers you provided today. Oh, my God. And uh, as wonderful. Dark Mockery would say, cigar prawn. Prawn. Yeah, P-R-O-N. Prawn. P-R-O-N. Yeah, like my Tesla shoes. Prawn. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that a T-L-S-A. That's right. <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, cigar porn. Yay, there Got we go. Ya. Woo. Okay. We have connections. <laughs> yeah, it takes me a while sometimes. Okay. That's right. I'm looking at prawns on the internet. <laughs> They're also little <laughs> well, little, little shrimpy prawns. things. I love me some prawns. <laughs> that leads us to midget prawn. Anyway. Okay, so dwarf. what we want to know is... <coughs> what was your hashtag strawberry bit? Victoria, what was your hashtag um, strawberry bit? To be honest, I actually was a little bit um, sidetracked today. Yes. Uh, so my hashtag story bit was actually that the truck of cow manure didn't arrive while we were doing the show and that, so that the dogs didn't bark all over everyone, all the answers you're trying to give. Yes. So that is actually like a si strawberry bit on the side, which kept me a little bit mm. distracted. Strawberry sides, short bit. Yes. All right. <laughs> short, ca short cake. Short almost. cake, strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do like how a lot of the questions bounce from, 
like whatever sizzles was, I can't quite remember now, oh, about the time. And it immediately was after the other one that was saying about speed. Totally. And, yeah, so that still continues to be on these sorts of shows, these um, Your Questions these. Answered Live, how many little threads there are. Like yep, the tapestry, we talk about that in DDD yeah. as Whoa, well. A sneaky little crass And commercial. in our live trainings, but, um, yeah. yeah. So sometime in April, mm. it'll be early, mid-April, Mm. We will officially open the early bird doors. Mm. Uh, if you want in the next Triple D, which begins April, end of April, like I think April 26th or something like that, uh, goes through May, contact me soon, right? Mm. <laughs> it always books, and there's always someone that says, I wish I could have, wish I would have, but I dicked around. Yeah. Right? Oh. Mm. <laughs> so, boom. Yeah, Just cool. letting you know early. Yeah. All right. So and your strawberry bit? Uh, my strawberry bit. Uh, I, I just again love how they all weave together, and I love mm. just seeing the family show up because uh, this is just uh, this is gold for us guys. Yeah, it just is. Uh, love sharing with you. Yeah, seeing y'all. Cool. All right, so Victoria, let's okay. Tell so meanwhile, go to freenevel.com. Two two one email pseudo random goodness. Join our ninety day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. Half a donut. 15 to 25 minutes a day. No excuse. That's right. For you. And for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. You know, we, we did a thing the other day. So it was like over a thousand videos on there, 20 minutes each. That's like 20,000, 20, 25,000 minutes. And that's like 365 hours, I think. Is it? Or something like that. It's a lot. Right, you could watch an hour a day forever. <laughs> well, if it's three hundred and sixty five hours, that means you can watch an hour a day for an entire year. That's right. It's pretty good. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. <laughs> well that was our show today. Have a Thank lovely you, day, everyone. Did I, do the la I don't think I've done <clears throat> the last bit. For refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feel it real fun dot com. That's right. Okay. All right. We'll do a watch Have party a great later. Day, night. We'll do a watch party later today. That's right. And we'll see you next week. Boom. <laughs>